Hello, for this video we are checking out Venice which is free for the month of August 2023. Normally goes for around $70 and has a folder size of around 700 megabytes. Going into the showcase level, we can see the buildings, the trees, the river and the boat which is called Gondola. So you have a good detail even when you're getting close. And now to the overview level. You can see the even up close the details are really good. Same goes for these fences. And these have a cube map for the windows. These pa this pack is modular so we can make uh, mix and match them. And there are blueprint prefabs included that I'm gonna go over them later. Looking, uh, looking at the collision and the light only view mode for the modeling, it's a bit on the low poly side, but the collision is really, really good. Uh, unfortunately, these do not have collision, uh, but the ones that do are uh, they are really good. Looking at the folder structure, these are the blueprints and these BSPs, maps, materials, meshes, and textures. These are the, the loot. And looking at the dimensions, there are three 4K textures and 64 2K, 51 1K, 9 5 12, and 256 by 16 for the lookup table texture. And looking at the uh, the textures, the most of them do have alpha channel, especially for the base color because uh, it uses the roughness is in the alpha channel. It's a trade-off between size and extra samplers to be honest and looking at the vertices uh, By the way, none of it is not enabled by default, but generally they are below 5,000 vertices. They do usually have uh, four LODs And most of them have more than one material I mean this approach might be Good if you're using a night, otherwise just extra draw calls. And there are some meshes with um, extra UV channels that is used for masking and bevel normals. Now especially those with these railings, they're using opacity uh, mask blend mode. And looking at the UVs, uh, I mean, looking at the different UV channels, we can see that each channel does something. I think fourth is for the uh, the bevels, if I'm not mistaken. And so those do have it. Now let's check the ones with one material. Uh, I mean, this doesn't look that clear, but uh, I guess they're all laid out uh, according to the texture, which should be material instance plaster yeah so they just laid out on the texture and uh, but the, for this one yeah they some of the same parts are being repeated which is good to see and there are uh, minimal wasted space here which is really good to see you need another one yeah that, that's just laid out on, on the texture for this one yeah and you can see the seam here it, yeah, no waste space on those that have it properly UV'd. And they get do get repeated. There are some waste space on some a few of them, but those are negligible. Now looking at the materials. These are the supposedly master materials. Uh, yeah, that's for the masking of the different UV channels. So I think for the water, yeah, for the river. This is for the cube map. Looking at it, this is the plaster and nothing here. Uh, and this one, it changed according to the value that you input from 1 to 10. 
Uh, it's kind of a, like a flip book in some way, but uh, it uses different UV channels for it. And this is the wood. It does have the option to change the color to whatever you want or whatever you like. Trying to get the mahogany color. You can change the contrast, the color values, the roughness as well. Uh, super, you, you have to increase the roughness to make it more glossy, which is counterintuitive. And this one does use metallic map. Uh, that's one thing to notice. The other ones do not use it. Now let's look at the floor. You can see that there are puddles there. You can increase the value, the puddle, uh, the scale of the puddle, and also how much they cover the floor with the puddle va value. And it does use world coordinates, so it's world aligned. And one thing, these walls that use that material does have vertex color. So it's changed according to that and I already set it up like this, but let's go over it quick. A red, you have to actually decrease the red for it to do something for the bricks to appear. So the more after a certain value it kind of doesn't or like becomes less. For the green it's like the concrete or the cement over it. So if you want to have a blend between them, you can do that. This is a nice touch. And this is for the windows for the interior cube map. This is the texture for the interior cube of that room. However, you can also see that the reflection is of a city. You have a different texture. You can also change the, the uh, remove the curtains and change the color of the curtains as well, and also rotating them with this value. Uh, this is for the alpha of the uh, I guess the reflection or the. I mean, the, yeah, you can also change the roughness and the blend. Now the texture for the reflection of the city should be around here. Yes, this is this is also a cube map. So it's impressive because when this pack was released, the city sample was not. Yeah, the colors can be changed on that one. Also, on this one, uh, for the material base, you can change the color like this, and also add emissive. Um, you can also make it metallic, although, yeah, you can add normal bevels, and those add some textures to it usually. Now, with this R value, you, change, you have to change the roughness, it will it'll make it so that the roughness depends on the value that you input, and not the texture. Let's go over the prefabs, starting with this brick fence. You can add the length, uh, the length, change the type, uh, whether it's brick or material. Now that wall material only works with the wall type and not the brick. You can see one or two changing between the type of the fence. For the bridge, yeah, you can change the type. You can also change the railing material, although that only works with the bridge that have the the railing. I think it's the first one only. Yeah. So it only works with this one that have railing. You can also change the color. Now for the building, you, you can change the seat. It will uh, change according to it, and the seat should result in the same result. Uh, should result in the same building if you have the same seat. Now you can uh, remove the random length and you input the length according to what you need. And same goes with the, for the width and the height. You can also change the window type. Just uh, remove the random window and input it also for the same for brick or uh, wall material. 
and also the types uh, is just like the different wool material are just different colors the parameter should have been just exposed and let you input the color uh, to your liking that could be done easily anyways uh, this is for the canals this is spline based solution you can also add uh, stairs according to, or to where you want according to the position and the type you can also uh, uh, skip the walls and add the railings is it, uh, and also change the type of the railing all those are possible and this for the first floor you can change uh, single with double window uh, same with brick or wall material and some of these other settings depend on which one uh, you have chosen whether uh, you've chosen door window or storefront Now you can also change the, the colors as well for the storefront awning so, and also the coin you have to make it flat for the uh, for it to appear on the right left or both or not uh, I don't know for this type you just input the amount to increase it this is the gondola I think this uses the stencil to mask out the, the water and these are just the props you can change or uh, cycle between them this is for the roof you can change the width and uh, the length as well I don't know what the positions actually do I know it does change it a bit it's like offsetting it but yeah I cannot trap my fingers around it and you can change the brick for those chimneys the, these uh, lamps have uh, light with it you can turn it on and off change the color of it and this is for the floor you can add the, uh, the ones with the fans also with the, the, the railing have a uh, pillar or not and this one you can uh, change between the wood or the supposedly the metal uh, however for the metal you can uh, also change the mold where it starts and the color of the stripes and for the trees you can cycle between the different trees you want random color or you can put your color the rotation the scale you can just make them random and this is for the window this should be the last basically almost all the other things besides those that are uh, special uh, that are special to the windows making it dub uh, single double or triple also uh, having uh, having a balcony whether it's open or close so all of those options are exposed Yeah, add the pipes and the uh, the leaks. Overall, this was an interesting modular pack. It has good details. There are basic material customization, and also there are diverse materials, including the cube maps for the windows, and the mesh themselves. They do have LODs. So the one generally, they are very good collisions uh, for the ones that do have it. Um, and about the materials, uh, the vertex color is also an interesting feature that was kind of hidden. And the blueprint prefabs do have good options and make it easy to build uh, a scene pretty fast. Uh, I think that's where the fast building name comes from. The UVs uh, are also okay for the most part. Uh, although I personally dislike how many uh, materials it does have along with the a lot of the alpha channel for the roughness there are no metallic especially for th for like the lamp the street lamp that's supposed to be metallic doesn't and if 
if you input metallic uh, through the material that's also an option but this still doesn't look correct um, also I think that the ore for the gondola is missing however you can kind of get that from the ship if uh, the ultimate ship pack that's if you have grabbed this for free along with it uh, that should be useful 